What's up, Missing Conversations? It's Rob Hoskins back with another video. As you can see, I'm at the lake. It was a nice day today, so I thought I'd shoot a video and kind of just express what's been on my heart lately. Uh, so before I get into the video, I'd just like to share like a short story. So uh, growing up, I had two older brothers uh, and also big cousins that were like my brothers. And I've seen many things. I've seen, you know, their mistakes. I've seen the crazy things that they did. And I've seen some good things that they did. Uh, I was just so grateful growing up to be able to, like, have older siblings because it gave me an example of how I can live my life. Um, and I was able to take their good and their bad and use it for, you know, my good. I was able to decide, like, uh, I don't want that. Uh, I want this. You know, I was just able to pick, you know, and choose, like, you know, what qualities I wanted to have in my life. And that's how I kind of centered, I feel like my personality, I feel like I'm a mixture between my oldest brother, Nick, or my oldest brother, Trey, and my oldest brother, Nick. I'm like in, in between uh, nature. Nick, he a little more rambunctious. You know, he'd go out, he kind of, he well, he used to be kind of a high head, you know, uh, party, real fun, bright, you know, sensitive human being or whatever. And Trey, he was more of a, you know, determined, more like, you know, straight and narrow type person, a uh, real disciplined guy. Um, family driven all of that um, and so like both of my brothers they're good human beings like I love both of them but uh, you know some things that you know I took from each one of their personalities I feel like that's who I am I'm kind of like an in-between I believe they agree and so I kind of had a conversation with my oldest brother Trey I was like bro I don't know what it is but I was like I'm able to look at someone's life and kind of like determine like the altitude of where they're gonna be if that makes sense so like Growing up, I seen my brother Nick. I was like, you know, some things, my brother Nick, I was like, I don't really agree with. I was like, you know, because for some reason, I was just, I'm like, I didn't really know exactly where he's going to end up. I'm like, uh, I just don't agree with that. I don't feel like that'd be good. And so uh, with my brother Trey, you know, some things that he did, I was like, uh, I might, you know, agree with. I, I, I like to see myself doing some things that he was doing, like not everything. Both of them, like I said, they're great human beings, but like I have to be myself. I have to become myself and like find out who I am and stuff like that. But long story short, my brother Trey, he was just like, that's a that's a gift from God. Like God is, you know, giving you that gift. Like I'm able to see, you know, the fruits of someone and just, I can, I guess, I don't want to say deem it as good or bad, but I, I'm just able to see like, you know, if this is going to produce fruit or if it's not. And if it's not going to produce fruit, I don't want anything to do with it. And so that's kind of like the outline how I live my life. I feel like I'm not a perfect person. Um, I pray daily God help me to progress and become a better person. I believe the reason why I got here to the place I'm at and the reason why I have the mindset I have first is because of the grace of God is because of the wisdom he's, that he's placed in me. Uh, but it's also because of that the reason I had it, such a good example, I had my brother Nick, I had my brother Trey, my other older siblings or uh, uh, older cousins, I had them. And I was just able to base like, the, I guess the outline of my life on their story. Um, it, you know, I, I, I learned from their mistakes. I learned from their lessons. I heard someone say, uh, a smart person learn from their mistakes, but a wise person learn from the mistakes of others. And so I, I just believe that's what I've been doing. And it's nothing but the grace of God and nothing but God's wisdom that he's given me the ability to do that. Um, but with that being said, and I say learn from the mistakes of others. You don't always have to make the mistakes. Um, don't be afraid to make mistakes, but also be wise enough to see mistakes of, you know, your parents and your grandparents. And don't use it as an excuse to be like, well, my mom didn't do it. My dad didn't do it. Well, they didn't do it. So who's going to do it? Someone is going to have to do it. Sometimes you can just look around in, in, in your space and see your family members and see your parents, your grandparents, your uh, brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your nieces, your nephews, whatever it is, you can take a look around. And sometimes in life, your people, your family are your best teachers. I mean, my brothers, my, they were some of my best teachers. My last video, I talked about just how God has given me wisdom to be able to pick and choose things that I want in my life um, and have, have the wisdom to like decipher what's good and what's bad. And so uh, that's what I did. Like, you know, I see my dad, I see my mom, I see my grandparents. I see the things that they do. You know, no one's perfect. No one's, we're not going to ever get it right. You know, the only perfect man was Jesus. And uh, we can, you know, never strive to be perfect, but we can, I believe, be excellent. So I encourage you to look in your sphere of influence. Look at your grandparents. Look at your mom. Look at your dad. Look at your cousin. Look at your brothers. See their life. Don't judge it. Just, just observe it. Be objective with it. Don't judge it. Uh, but use what they went through each person use what they went through went through and make a better story with your own life and serve them with what you learn you know just 
You don't have to always be like, hey, I, I see you uh, you slept with 10 different women and got 10 different uh, babies and all that stuff. So I decided not to do that. <laughs> you can just be like, hey, bro, I appreciate you, you know, going going through what you went through because it gave me uh, advice to what what I'm what I want to do with my life. Like, you know, that might bring deliverance to them. They might be like, dang, you know, you're right. I, I have been sleeping with 10 different women, getting 10 different uh, childs with them. <laughs> like, I want to do better. Like, I want to be a better example for you. If you if you're saying that I'm being an encouragement to you, then I want to be even better. I want to do better for myself, you know? So you never know what your lessons learned from them will teach them. You you might teach them the lesson that they need to know. And the lesson you learned, the lesson from them. Ain't that powerful? Ain't that deep? I hope this is making sense. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me when you like my videos. And it really helps me when you, just, when you subscribe. Uh, my goal is I want to get to 1K subscribers right now. I'm at like 87 which is, I'm grateful for. I'm, I'm definitely grateful for. Uh, but I want to get better. I, and I have to be more diligent in posting good content or whatever like that. Because uh, your boy was falling off for a while. But hey, what I've been doing. I've been posting every Saturday. Ain't that something? Won't God be a deliverer? I've been posting every Saturday. Every Saturday. For this like the third time. Third, three times in a row. I've been posting every Saturday. And guess what? I'm going to post this Saturday too. Hey y'all, I thank y'all for watching my videos. I, I appreciate, you know, when I put it on Facebook, I see family members and stuff, they uh, come in and saying, you know, they, that my videos are really helpful or they're inspiring. Uh, and that's all I wanna do. I just wanna inspire. Uh, I'm a young man um, and I have so much more to learn in life. I know it, uh, but with what I'm learning, I wanna teach. They say each one, teach one. When you learn something, don't be afraid to give it back. Um, you know, don't don't be selfish with with your lessons and stuff like that. And you might have some lessons and some, and some stories in your own stuff that you know you made mistakes or you made some successes. I say teach those. We have to teach our generations. We have to teach our peers and we have to teach the future to become. They said if you don't know the past, it's bound to repeat itself. And so don't don't let your children, don't let your cousins, don't let your brothers and sisters repeat the same mistakes that you did. If you know you had some things that you know wasn't right, you need to be honest with them. Be like, hey, I didn't get all this right, but guess what? You have a chance to make a better decision than I do. And don't just just leave them at that. Give them something practical. Tell them what they can look out for. Tell them what kind of women or men to look out for. Like, give them some practical tips. Don't just be like, well, I messed up. But you, you don't have to mess up. You know, give them something practical, something that they can use in their daily lives.